Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I'm Andy Signor, and over the course of the week, the jury has heard from Johnny's friends, family, nurse, doctor, even Amber Heard's own employees, and they've all vouched for Johnny and knocked down the credibility of Amber Heard. But there's been one person who was there through all of it, through all the allegations, etc. That's Johnny Depp's lead security, Sean Bett. He was there. His job was to provide security and protect Johnny's well-being, as well as Johnny's family. And he became close to Johnny throughout his time there. Uh, his testimony last night was pretty important. I want to make sure you guys get the most important bits from it. Now, there were some moments where it got a little contentious with the judge and the defense because Sean was clearly trying to stand up for his buddy and get some extra things out there for the jury to hear uh, that, of course, were stricken from the record. You're going to hear some of those moments as well. Fireworks. I'm calling him. Uh, but let's start with where it started. So, so they asked him, do you see Johnny drink? Um, how would you describe Mr. Depp's demeanor after drinking alcohol? His demeanor is the same as if you were talking to him. Um, I would joke around with some of the other uh, security personnel. He's, you know, my terminology would be he's kind of too cool for school. He goes into that kind of Jack Sparrow mode and he just, you know, he's very likable, you know, whether he drinks or he doesn't drink. I've seen him slightly intoxicated. It's the same as if he, you know, had a glass of sparkling water. I mean, he's just very low key. He's easy to get along with. And, um, you know, he just seems to me, I mean, he handles alcohol a lot better than I would. Now, uh, important all moments to sort of set the, 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 the tone of how Johnny is as a drunk, because the defense keeps trying to throw that at him. Well, he's drunk and he gets blacked out. Well, Sean's like, I've witnessed it. It's not like they're painting it. Uh, and I believe this. Johnny does seem not like doesn't seem like he gets crazy. And over the course of your employment with Mr. Depp, have you ever seen him consume drugs? I haven't. Are you generally aware that Mr. Depp has used drugs over the years? I am. And how are you aware of that? From him. And would you I, I love the way he said that. It was just very clear, and Johnny's been very open about his troubles. Uh, he doesn't hide it. Unlike Amber, who hides everything, Johnny steps up and admits his faults and clearly had some issues. Please describe for the jury some of your er early interactions with Ms. Hurd. Um, she was very pleasant, um, very easy to get along with. Uh, I mean, she was almost as if she was a, a next-door neighbor, just always had a smile to her face and... Um, just, um, you know, just, you know, no issues at the time. And, you know, I liked her, liked her a lot. Now, again, just like Isaac did, they're going the positive route. They're not trying to just be mean to her and pile on. No, I, I love that he was honest. He's like, no, I liked her in the beginning. She was nice. And did you have an opportunity to observe Mr. Depp's interactions with, uh, Ms. Hurd's family and friends? Now, these friends are her sister, Whitney, uh, friend Rocky or Rochelle, uh, and then Io Tillett Wright. And then Josh Drew was Rocky's uh, boyfriend at the time. Uh, basically, how did Johnny you know, treat Amber's friends is what he's about to answer. I did. Um, he was very open and warm to them. He, you know, offered them, you know, uh, whatever they needed. They were constantly coming around the estate. Um, you know, eventually he let a couple of them live in his penthouses downtown for free. He would let them, a few of them, drive his nice um, Dodge Challenger in and around town and take on trips. Did you have an opportunity to observe how Ms. Hurd's friends and families treated Mr. Depp? Now, just also want to mention, she totally did that hairstyle, which I wasn't a fan, but it was clearly there to help block her from camera view this time. That's how I took it. I did. Um, they were obviously very pleasant to him because I, you know, I, from observing, they were taking advantage of him. Yeah, they were. That's my take as well. And it's nice to hear someone finally say it out loud. They were all taking advantage of him, Amber included, especially her friends. So they were being obviously extra nice to the hand that feeds them. And that's just progressed over a period of time. Do you recall any specific instances, Mr. Bad, where um, you heard Miss Heard say something to her friends? Yes. Um, the first one, I was taking her from... Um, Mr. Depp's property to uh, her apartment um, in the south end of the city that I believe Mr. Depp was paying for. She was... He, notice how he threw that in, who I believe Johnny was paying for. Not really probably supposed to add that, but he did because he's clearly trying to get more out there for the jury to understand. Sitting next to me in the vehicle, um, she was talking to a girlfriend or a friend where they were talking about another male. 
and she says to the friend, girlfriend, whoever she was talking to, you know, all men are idiots, you know, you shouldn't trust that guy. And then she turned to me and she said, you know, sorry, Sean, not you, I didn't mean that. And I just shrugged it off like it's not a big deal. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Well, Sometimes we are idiots, but I need more context on that story. I noticed they went from being that loving, almost like high school couple where they were very giddy towards each other. He was very happy. She was very happy to, they started to argue. Um, they started to argue periodically, and then the arguing uh, started to progress more and more and more. And uh, it was always taking place because, you know, Ms. Heard would start this argument. Miss Heard started the arguments. We've heard that now from multiple sources, professionals. Based on your observations, did it ever appear that Miss Heard was intoxicated? There were times when I went into the penthouse or we were at the Hollywood estate and, you know, based on my training and experience in law enforcement, I could tell she Objection, was you know, slightly Honor. intoxicated. So, excuse me. So that's kind of getting, uh, getting into the realm of expert testimony. Not a expert testimony. He's not allowed to speak on his expert law enforcement. Uh, why not? But that's how it works. He's not allowed. Strictly. Do you recall observing any arguments between Mr. Depp and Ms. Heard? Several. Several. As we were driving downtown, you know, she was crying. This was at the point when uh, the, the arguing was taking place quite frequently. And I was telling her, I, you know, I said, Amber, you know, this can't continue. You guys are either going to kill each other or you're going to be in jail. And, you know, with tears and everything, she says, but I love him and I, I'm not going to lose him. And I says, but you guys can't keep doing this. Um, so we eventually got to the downtown apartments. You know, she said, thank you. I dropped her off. Um, and then I went back to the West Hollywood address. The constant... Ar yeah, it's like, what did you mean by that? Arguing and bickering and so forth. Because, as I said, it was slowly progressing and um you know it was just going to turn out bad eventually there was an incident because as i said the arguing progressed over and over as the years continued um he would text me uh when i was working saying you know objection your honor calls for hearsay all right i'll sustain that objection. it started getting very uh, contentious that the, the lawyers and were very uh, unlike isaac the, uh, Rottenborn was very quick to do the objections this time, and he got a lot of them. Mr. Bat, if you could just focus on what Miss Heard, you overheard Miss Heard say while observing arguments between Mr. Depp and Miss Heard. Uh, I overheard her saying to him, uh, "He's a fat ass. Fuck you, Johnny, Jeez. and you too, Sean." Uh, at one time, when you know she went to throw a, a water bottle or a plastic cup down the stairs. And it bounced kind of in Johnny's direction, but I ended up getting him, and we, you know, got out of there as soon as possible. Now, this is when the fireworks really started. Other than a water bottle or a plastic cup, did you ever see Miss Heard throw anything else? Um, no, other than what he told me when she threw a broken bottle and there sliced his finger. And Sir, <laughs> sustain the objection. The jury will strike that that testimony please just answer the question asked and when there's an objection do not speak okay right. I'm sorry. thank you yeah i mean he knew he had to have known i mean that's that's why he's there to try and get it out to the jury on the time he told me that she did i <laughs> uh, got it in there but that can backfire you got to be careful uh and so this is where things got a little hairy for him and team Deb. but there's johnny just I, look, Johnny must appreciate these people stepping up for him like this. At any point during during Miss Heard and imagine. Mr. Depp's relationship, did you ever see any injuries on Miss Heard? No. That's an important one. Never any. Never saw anything. How about on Mr. Depp? Yes. Uh, the first time would have been around 2014, I guess, um, in which he had a. Uh... Now, please share this video because I don't know if this is going to make this video get. It shouldn't. It shouldn't. Uh, but please share and get this out there so we can go against the algorithm. His finger was damaged from uh, an incident in Australia. But just heads up. Uh, I saw another injury around March of 2015. They're all very minor. He had but uh, good. a swollen kind of cheekbone eyelid. Mr. Bat, do you recognize this photograph? I do. And how do you recognize it? Because I took that picture. Why did you take this photograph? Well, we needed it as evidence in case um, Ms. Heard tried to make allegations uh, towards Mr. Depp. 
I was emphatic with him, telling him that's a serious mark and we need to photograph it. It was around uh, December of that same year, 2015, um, he uh, got into an argument with Ms. Hurd and she scratched him and he had injuries. Objection, Your Honor. Sustain the objection, only your observation, sir, what you saw. Because he said Amber did it. He can't, he doesn't know because he didn't see that happen. So he's got to say more broad, more generally. Uh, yes, he had scratch marks um, around his nose area. Um, I believe on one of the sides of his face in the cheek area and then on his forehead. Scratches. Do you recognize over. these photographs? Here are the scratches. I do. And how do you recognize them? Because I took them. Uh, December, mid-December 15th. And why did you take these photographs? I took them to show proof that uh, he once again had injuries sustained in an altercation. Yes, he had to say that more carefully because he doesn't, he didn't see it happen, so he can't say Amber did it. He, that's what he heard by Johnny. Did you ever see any similar injuries on Miss Heard? None. None, never. We, as we approached the door, we could hear the screaming and shouting from Ms. Heard. So I now this is Jerry Judge, who no longer is with us, died of cancer. What Jerry, uh, Johnny's ultimate guy, our first big, guy, you know, lead guy. They were there at the scene when all this happened. I immediately opened up the door, and Mr. Judge and I ran in there. What do you remember, Ms. Heard, screaming or shouting? It, it appeared she was shouting profanities. So once Mr. Judge and I went through the front door. So Mr. Depp would have been standing in front of us, and he glanced at us. As soon as Mr. Judge and I rounded the corner, I saw Ms. Hurd standing next to her good friend, um, Raquel Pennington. She had this look of surprise on her face, and then she looked at Mr. Depp and us, and she shouted out loud, um, this is the last time you do this to me. At which point Mr. Depp looked at her and said, what the hell are you talking about? At that point, Mr. Judge tapped you know, Mr. Depp on the arm and told him, boss, let's leave. So we gathered, uh, there was a couple of computer bags that was right on a table, and we exited the uh, front door to penthouse number three. Did you observe any injuries on Ms. Hurd's face? I didn't. Did you see any redness? I didn't. Swelling? None. Was Ms. Hurd holding her face? She wasn't. Great questions. Not only did you not see it, but you'd think like, oh, oh, nothing, nothing. So what happened next? Um, we exited penthouse number three and we walked down the hallway. Um, right when we were getting close to penthouse number five door, um, Mr. Depp says, I need to get in here and look for something. So I opened up the door for him. We went inside, and that's when I saw Ms. Hurt's friend, um, Raquel Pennington's boyfriend, Josh Drew, and another unknown female that I'd never seen before. And there was a small dog kind of um, walking around. Uh, Mr. Depp, uh, I believe he said, get the fuck out of my apartment. So Mr. Drew nodded his head and basically said, okay. Uh, the female picked up the dog. Um, and they exited the front door to that what happened uh, there? penthouse. Hmm. What did Mr. Depp do next? He was walking around the kitchen area, uh, living room area. He might have gone upstairs briefly. I can't remember. I don't know what he was looking for. Um, I didn't ask him. Mr. Judge didn't ask him. Uh, eventually, um, he didn't find whatever he was looking for and we exited penthouse number three. And while Mr. Depp was in penthouse number three, did you observe him cause any damage? No. Did you observe him cause any damage to any of the penthouses on May 21st, 2016? No. Did you see Mr. Depp become violent with anyone while at the penthouses on May 21st, 2016? Objection leading. I'll allow, allow it. it. She allows it. I didn't. Mr. But have you ever seen Mr. Depp become violent with Ms. Heard? I haven't. There you um, go. Most telling points there. She, he never saw it, and he was there. Now, some are going to say, well, yeah, but he's working for Johnny. He's got he's allegiant to Johnny. Uh, while it was clear he was trying to help Johnny with some of those little things he was sneaking in, 
I, I don't think he's going to lie for him. I think he, that you do that when you want the truth to be told. So you sort of are sharing and you believe Johnny. Um, and uh, yeah, I believe him. I believe him. I thought he was credible. What do you guys think? I want to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. They're going to do his cross. The defense will cross him this morning. We will keep you updated and report on that throughout the day. There's also rumor that Johnny will be doing his testimony tomorrow. So stay tuned. We'll be covering all that. We may even go live with it. So make sure you hit the bell for all alerts. Smash that like button as well. And uh, leave a comment down below on your thoughts. Do you think Sean came across as credible? Or did he get to go too far and cross the line there with the judge and the jury? I want to hear your thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching. There's so much more coming here on this trial and so much more here on Popcorn Planet. Thank you.